Hello everyone, this is your friend and educator Mohan Ravaddi. In this video, we will discuss about emulsions. You all are aware, emulsions are the biphasic liquid doses forms. This is the biphasic liquid doses form. What do you mean by biphasic? Yes, we have the two phases here. Can you tell me what is the difference between the single phase and two phases? What is the difference between the single phase and the two phases? Yes, the single phase means they are soluble. When you say the two phases means they are immiscible. When the two things will be immiscible? Can you tell me? When the two things will be immiscible? Yes, when we have the polar and non-polar. When we have the polar and non-polar solvents, then that will become the immiscible. Can you tell me what is the best example for the polar solvent? Yes, that is the universal solvent water. Water is the polar solvent. Can you tell me what is the example for the non-polar solvent? Yes, it is the oil. Now, when we mix the water and oil, will it be miscible? Answer is no, it is not miscible. They are the immiscible. That's why here we say it as the two phases or we call it as the biphasic liquid doses form. Okay. Now, the problem is, Emulsions are the immiscible, that is only bigger problem here, because they are the thermodynamically unstable. They are the thermodynamically unstable. Can you tell me, what do you mean by thermodynamically unstable? You look at here, thermo, what is the meaning of thermo? Temperature. What is the meaning of dynamic? Dynamic means movement. But what is the movement here? What is the movement here? Yes, the movement is here oil globules. Whatever the oil globules we have, these oil globules will move together. When the oil globules will move, then the system becomes the unstable. But how? How the system becomes the unstable when the oil globules move? If you look at, this is the one oil globule and this is the other oil globule. Here we have the two oil globule. One oil globule to other oil globule, in between the space we call it as this space, this space we say it as the interface. What is this space we say it as interface. Now, this oil globule and this oil globule are having the high surface free energy. High surface free energy. Tell me, when they have the high surface free energy, when they are more energetic, what they do? Obviously, they start to move. This oil globule also move and this oil globule also move. When these oil globules move together, then what will occur? This is the oil globule and this is the oil globule. These both oil globules fuse it together. When the oil globules fuse it together, then what will occur? Yes, they becomes the bigger globule. Becomes the bigger globule only we say it as the covalescence. What we say this process? This process we say it as the covalescence. Due to this covalescence, the system becomes the unstable. Okay? Now tell me, if I want to make the system stable, what I can do here? Why the covalescence is occurring? Why the globules are fusing? Due to high surface free energy. If I decrease their energy, I can make the system stable? Say yes or no? If I decrease their free energy, I can make the system stable? They don't move. When they don't move, then there is a no fusion. When they are not fused together, 
then there is a no covalence when there is a no covalence you can say system is the stable what you can say you can say the system is the stable but again question is how i can decrease the surface free energy i can decrease the surface free energy by using the three approaches here we will discuss one by one that the first one what we are doing here this is the one oil globule and this is the other oil globule now what i have done i add some chemical by adding some chemical this chemical what they do they just adsorb at the interface i already shown you this is the interface this chemical will adsorb at the interface and forms the one layer between these globules they forms the one layer between these globules this was that layer now you look at this layer is the single layer or many layers we have obviously this is the single layer single means what we say mono and some chemicals are forming this layer that's why we call it as the mono molecular layer what we say here mono molecular layer by adding the chemical we make the mono molecular layer at the interface now you can look at diagram is it possible to together because already one layer is formed there is a obstacle uh, becoming the together so this is what can be done with help of this chemical the name of the chemical we call it as the surfactant surfactant what they do they adsorb at the interface and they form us the mono molecular layer when they form us the mono molecular layer then they don't fuse then they don't fuse when they don't fuse then there is a no covalence when there is a no covalence means you understand the system becomes the stable this is what the one of the approach by using the surfactants you can form us the mono molecular layer and you can makes the system stable okay the second approach here if you look at this is the one oil globule and this is the other oil globule now what we are doing here also we are adding chemical or the agent when you add the chemical or agent they will adsorb at the interface this is the interface they will adsorb at this interface when they adsorb at the interface they form us the many layers at the interface they form us the many layers at the interface many means what multi many means what multi and this is also forming the chemical this is also forming the chemical that's why we call it as the molecular and layer so multi molecular layer formation is occurred here but what chemical forms the multi molecular layer the name of the chemical we say it as here hydrophilic colloids the name of the chemical we say it as hydrophilic colloids what the hydrophilic colloids they do they adsorb at the interface and they form is the multi molecular layer now tell me this globule and this globule they can fuse together obviously no if they don't fuse together can we make the covalence can we make the bigger globules is there a chance of formation of bigger globules answer is no when they don't form is the bigger globules you can say the emulsions becomes the stable you can increase the stability of the emulsions okay so that is what the second approach but here we have the two things the first one formed the mono molecular layer and the second one formed the multi molecular layer when we compare these two which is the best one first one or second one answer is the second one hydrophilic colloids are the best why they are forming the multi molecular layers when they form the multi molecular layers that will be so strong as compared to single layer multi molecular layer is the more strong single layer can rupture 
सिंगल लेयर कैन रप्चर बट मल्टी मोलिकुलर लेयर दे डोंट रप्चर इट विल टेक ए टाइम दट्स वाई द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द मल्टी मोलिकुलर लेयर इज द ऑलवेज बेस्ट कंपेर टू मोनोमोलिकुलर लेयर सो विच इज द बेस्ट इयर यस हाइड्रोफिलिक कोलाइड्स आर द बेस्ट वी हैव द थर्ड अप्रोच दट इज द सॉलिड पार्टिकल्स वॉट वी डू यर वी एड दी सम सॉलिड पार्टिकल्स वेन वी एड द सॉलिड पार्टिकल्स दी सॉलिड पार्टिकल्स दे डू सम वेटिंग दे डू द सम वेटिंग बोथ ऑइल एंड वॉटर आफ्टर दैट दे विल एडजॉर्ब दे विल एडजॉर्ब अराउंड द ऑइल ग्लोब्यूल when they will adsorb around the oil globule what will occur when they adsorb around the oil globule and they forms the some film they forms the what film due to this film they don't fuse together when they don't fuse together again the same thing no covalence so the solid particles here making the film around the globule around the oil globule when the makes the film around the oil globule then there is a no fusion then there is no bigger globule then our system will becomes the stable this is what the the three approaches we can makes emulsion stable i think it is very clear yes you all are understand thank you